What's going on everybody? I just wanted to tell everybody that I had a great time even with the toothache yesterday. I wish I'd have felt a little better and got there a little earlier. I could have filmed a lot more trucks and probably took my time and focused a little bit, but I've had the worst toothache for three days this morning. My temperature got up to about 102, 101 point something, but I think it's finally broke. The swelling's coming down a little bit again, so hopefully I'll be back to normal. But anyway, I had a great time out there with everybody at Savage Land. Pretty open crawl. And thanks again for that. My buddy hooked me up. And my other buddy and me, we did a trade on some wheels. I gave him the bead locks. I had the, uh, I had Pitbull or Rock Beast on them. They were great tires, but uh, the wheels were good too. They had like 96 screws to all the rims, but I wanted these white wagon wheels for a long time. I've had some black ones. I painted them with silver, but I wanted white. So we did a little trading. I got me some white ones finally. I don't think I'm going to leave them on the grave digger, even though they look good. I actually want them on that one, I think. But I'll probably end up taking and putting the high rack tires onto these wheels. Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of tire swapping, but I might. But thanks again, Cole. And also, buddy, if you watch this, I got you some tires for your trailer here next time I see you. That way you can put these on there. They could use a little stiffer foam when I had them on my trailer. They're real soft. But I got those for you when I see you, buddy. What's going on, everybody? I got me another set of wheels yesterday. So I figured I'd give them a try on this truck because this is what I wanted them for. The old white wagon wheels. I think they look pretty good on here so far. They have the Super Swamper boggers on them, but I'm going to put the high racks on them, I think, anyway, because I do like those. But I figured I'd go ahead and give her a little test. It'd probably be a pretty short video, because I've been dealing with a toothache for days, and now my whole face is swollen up still. I just wanted to get out and get some fresh air. The surprise is battery's not dead. I left my winch plugged in all night. Cause it's ran direct you got to pretty much unplug the battery to unplug the winch and i forgot but i'm on the same battery we'll just see how long it goes let's see here i do like the look of the wheels for sure Tires are a little slippy compared to the Hyrax. I can tell that already. Yeah, look at that. It's just like the dust. A little dusty. I wonder if I can go back up this way. This bumper's coming off here. I don't like it. I mean, I can't get over nothing with this damn bumper. See right there, the edge of it's catching right there. That's crazy. I come all the way out here and turn back. Now, I was trying to stay on top of the rocks, but plus I got me hitching the back, but anyway. It's actually a it's actually a real silver necklace hanging on the front instead of a chain i think it says 9.25 silver marty had a real good time yesterday And I'll have another video coming up soon from Savage Land. We're doing an Easter event. 
which is going to be really cool. He explained a little bit to me yesterday what he was going to do. I don't know for sure exactly, but he's going to put an Easter egg by each gate. And if you clear the gate, you put your name in the egg and they're kind of going to do a little raffle at the end or something like that. If I'm not mistaken, I think that'd be pretty cool. It makes it pretty fair for almost anybody could win that way. Hyrax tires are definitely better than the boggers. But these rims are what I wanted, so. Yeah, I'm going to change the tires and definitely do something about the bumpers. I can't handle this bumper. Guess somebody had to put my winch back on the original bumper. I'm sure they would get out of that. Oh, well. Oh, I guess the diff was hanging. I didn't think it was. At least when I go crawling at these other places, I can get pretty good ideas of some new stuff on my course. The stuff he's got out there at Savage Land is really cool. I like the way it's set up. Yeah, my Hyrax tires are definitely going back on. Barely got enough wheel speed anymore. What the heck? You can do it. Damn. I guess it's the tires also. Because I've been up this a thousand times. Come on, baby. We'll go this way. All right. We're in a real pickle gym. Oh, yeah. That's what a winch is for. Uh, these things are slow, but that's all about scale. Not too many big winches are super fast, so. Let me see, where can I hook this booger? Guess we're gonna go downhill somewhere. See if we can't. Let me get this hooked up. All right, uh, it'll probably move this whole stick instead. Let's see if it's got enough anchor behind it. There we go.
There we go. All right. All right. Main thing with these ones though is just getting it wound in there straight because when you are trying to use it in an important place, you know, you don't have the chance to keep it coming in straight and it will bind up all the time. Works very well though, I think. It's pretty scale though. We'll give it that much. See if I can go this way. Oops, sorry guys. I'm glad I went with the 27 turn instead of a 35 in this because, I mean, it's barely got the wheel speed now that I got the 14. Now, that was just bad driving. Now that I got that 14 turn, you lose a lot of wheel speed. All right. Thought about putting the 17, I don't know why I keep saying turn, but tooth. It's got a 14 tooth mode or pinion instead of the 17 that comes with it. But I thought about putting a 17 back on it to get my top speed and seeing if I could still crawl good. It is a trail master, so. I'm thinking about moving this entire course over the other part of my yard. Because right here, it's really just out in the sun all the time. Alright, can she go up this with these tires? Once I get past that hitch... <laughs> They don't that they're not bad. A little slippery at the top. Up. Well, before I do that, I gotta go down here and move this. When I was mowing the other day, Ooh, these tires are slippery on the side hill. Oops. Oh boy, a lot, lot more angle than you think right here. It's getting worse. I'm gonna have to do something to prop it up. This is the route that used to go up it. I wonder how how catastrophic of a teeter-totter this is about to be. There's no screws holding this together or nothing. It's just kind of there. This is going to be probably deadly. These boards are going to go whichever way they want to. Of course, right up here, it kind of brings it down to a there we go, nice slow teeter-totter. That's kind of cool, actually. I might actually put hinges on that. Well, I can't put hinges, because then I won't be able to do this. But that's cool having a little breaking point. And look how much counterweight that got. Uh-oh. <laughs> that other board was heavier. <laughs> I'm going to turn them around and try that again. Uh-oh, my chips fell out. 
and my guitar. Let's see if I go this way. Just enough for that to hit the ground. Right there. Just enough. I don't know how this is going to work either. I was looking at something else. Oops. Let's try this again. Again, these are two different boards, so they're going to be different lengths. There we go. We just go all the way out to the end. <laughs> if I attach something on them to, to hold them together, it'd be pretty cool. Keep on to your chips, everybody. As you can see, I have been getting a lot of the grass cut. My belt broke on my zero turn, so I had to borrow a mower. But like I say, all the stuff I got here in this course, I'm thinking that I'm going to move everything. I'll show you my other spot I got where I'm going to probably put it off. Now, now over here in this part of my yard, it's a little more private. There's a little more shade from the tree. And we kind of hang out over here anyway. We play darts and stuff. We got a dart board we hang on the tree. So I think over here is where the course is going to go. I had a 24 scale course around that tree at one time, long time ago. But I'm thinking I'm probably going to go around that tree with some stuff. Because I started to build a clubhouse years ago for my grandson. And, uh, so I think I'm going to go around the tree, come up to the top and find another way down, but pretty much I'm going to move everything. I think eventually not too long from now, but I think this whole set, all that right there, all them bush, those grow pretty flowers and shit all year. I mean, they look pretty good usually. So I think over here we got the gazebo and place I can sit down in the shade when I want to, I can put my cars out here and. As I got all the way to the road, I can I just kind of fill this whole area in, you know. I'm going to do like a few paths to go up and then back and then back and then back. I'm going to say we hang our dartboard on that big piece of plywood. That's why it's there. But I can change that around. I can go around the gazebo, you know, stuff like that. But I, I think this is going to be the new location. I'll have a little more shade, like I say, when I am doing it. And I got the gazebo there. I can sit up underneath there when I get hot. Working on my stuff or whatever. So, yeah, that's my plans anyway. Yeah, I had uh, 24 scale stuff hung here. You see that little piece of... Look how much that thing is folded. It's like a cardboard board almost. But that son of a bitch is... <laughs> That's the shape it has taken after sitting here. And you can see I had like a little bridge under here for the little guys. There's a couple big bricks I can use. I think that would be a cool spot for it. And I could start fresh. I'm not happy with hardly anything I've got in my course. Let's just drive over to trash too while I'm out here. It's only been here for months. Well, all right, guys. There's my little test run with the uh, Super Swamper Volgers on here. They've been cut a little bit, as you can tell. Not bad. Just I think he's notched a few here and there. Like I say, I wanted the rims, not so much the tires. So that's a lot of work to change them around again. But what do you guys think on these rims? Do you? You like these rims better than the white wagon wheels on there? Yeah, or do you think that I should change the high racks over to the wagon wheels and put them on there? I think I do love the white wheels. But, now I had put these on the TF2 at first, and most every tire I put on this truck rubs the leaf springs bad. Especially a, a bigger tire. 
but luckily these tires are kind of narrow and when i put them on there yesterday just you know for the heck i traded them for the wheels that was on there so i swapped them right then and they really don't rub that bad on there and they looked really good on there so i don't know you know but anyway, I do think I want these wheels on here. What do you guys think? Which wheels do you like better? They're both bead locks. Luckily, these are just, you know, the five bolts break them apart. So that's a good thing. So would you guys change the tires over to the white rims? Or would you just put these back on it the way they are? And put the white ones on something else. But anyway, until next time, guys. Please like and subscribe. Peace.